Hey, do it yourself, friends. Uh, today we have to fix a uh, bathroom sink faucet uh, that is not flowing. In fact, uh, it's flowing very poorly. We don't know what is causing it. So we're going to diagnose the problem uh, and then fix the problem. Uh, these are the uh, brushed bronze uh, single hole uh, bathroom sink faucets. Uh, as you can see, there's two of them and they're both draining poorly. Uh, so we're going to want to figure out why. Um, and the first step is to get underneath it. Now your cabinet might be a little bit different uh, than ours. Actually, it almost definitely is going to be different. So but you get under there with uh, to to access um, the plumbing uh, because we're going to need to uh, get busy down there. And uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is uh, get something that's going to catch some water because there's inevitably going to be a bit of water uh, when you're working with any type of plumbing, as I'm sure you guys all know this. Um, so I usually put a towel... Uh, under there and then have a bucket handy also underneath um, depending on your setup there's going to be some shutoff valves uh, mine has a hot and cold shutoff uh, as well as a um, a main shutoff valve we are today going to just uh, shut the hot and uh, cold valves off to uh, the sink and uh, I'm sure everybody here knows uh, how to shut these off. And the first thing we're going to do uh, is, you know, diagnose what's causing the problem. Uh, that there is, is the main shutoff in case we, we have any issues with, with these valves not shutting all the way. Um, if, you know, it starts squirting water, <laughs> you have it off. You can't put the hose back on it, uh, and you need to shut the main off real quick. Otherwise, it it'll uh, it could get messy uh, real fast. So, you know, always know where your main shut off is in case of an emergency. Once you shut them off, just relieve the lines. You know, just check and make sure all the water's out, and you can see there's not really much in there. And um, and then we're going to be ready to go ahead and pull these off. Now these lines here are sealed with a tapered uh, rubber washer. It's tapered so it doesn't really need Teflon and it can just be screw tightened on but it also uh, causes problems meaning it'll get stuck in there. There goes the uh, rubber washer right there uh, and I'll show you those here in a minute. Let's get the water uh, out of the line and um, and we're checking to make sure there's no water squirting out of the inlet there and there is none so we're good to go and um, <clears throat> we'll go ahead and pull the cold water uh, line off as well And um, again, it, it's hand tightened on. Doesn't need that Teflon there, but uh, for this particular kind anyway. So these are the uh, tapered washers, and a, a lot of these might be causing the problem. So if you pull it off and you see that tapered washer crammed into the inlet line, all smashed, uh, that very well could clog up your line. It's not the case here. You can see these are just fine. So that is not the problem, which, uh, well, it could be good and could be bad. It could be the faucet itself, the valve or the stem, uh, cartridge in there, or it could be something wrong with our inlet. But let's go ahead. I have a, a secret way of diagnosing this. Uh, but first, we're going to go ahead and, uh, I mean, if you have... Uh, like a, a dishwasher line or something that you can hook up. Uh, you, you can do this without doing it the way I'm doing it. But anyway, I take the faucet off and underneath you see everybody's faucets are going to be different under there. But this one has like these little locking screws that you 
are going to uh, loosen um, uh, and uh, once we get it off I'm going to be hooking the uh, braided line up directly to the inlet and squirting it into a bucket just to make sure that it's flowing properly. I mean I could just turn them on but it's going to squirt water all over the place uh, and I, I don't want to do that. That makes quite the mess. Um, I mean I could just turn it on a little bit but still it squirts quite a bit of water. So um, let's just do it this way and and I mean, even if it is the faucet and we need to change the cartridge or something, we'd have to take it off. So we might as well just take it off. Uh, on this particular one, we take the locking screw off here. Uh, well, not off. I mean, you can just loosen these screws and then it will uh, loosen the lock um, uh, nut or washer there. And you can unscrew it like that. And you take that all the way down. Uh, off of the threading here and once you get that off completely uh, well you can pull the faucet out the old faucet and be careful because it'll be loose and it's flying around up there and it comes right out simple as that so what we're going to want to do here is take uh, these steel braided lines off. Uh, and, and the reason is I want to use those lines again to check the inlets. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that here in a second. But first you get the lines off. I mean there's like a little plastic guide in this particular unit. And again they're all a little bit different. Some of them have this kind of thing. And actually most have some kind of guide or holder for the the lines um, these single hole ones especially but and uh, you know they all unscrew or come off in different ways but they're similar uh, on this particular one uh, these are on a little bit tight I'm gonna have to use some pliers here um, to pull it off and it's it's no big deal There we go. I, all right, cool. I shouldn't even be using needle nose. It's just I had them handy. Don't yell at me. It works. <laughs> just need to loosen it a little bit. And, uh, and now I can unscrew with my hand. And then what we're going to do here is uh, put the uh, tapered um, washer, uh, rubber washer, back in the inlet line and screw this in. I'm blowing it here, and the, it's the line is completely clear. I had no real suspicion that something was in there, but I checked it. You can just blow it if you can blow easily through there. Obviously, the line's clear. So let's put the the line back on the inlet, and uh, we're gonna check now to see if this thing sprays, if it squirts good. And man, you got this is when you want your fingers crossed. Because if you put this on and turn that water on and it doesn't come out for crap, your problem then is behind the wall. It's, it's in the pipes. And that sucks. So, yeah. Let's uh, hope. This is just right here. This is where you're crossing your fingers and hoping. Anyway, so I'm going to put this tapered uh, washer back in here. Arguably not the best way of sealing these things, but that's what came with this particular unit. Actually, it was one that had a screen in it, but that got jammed up real early on. And I replaced them with these without the screens, which probably uh, wasn't a great idea in hindsight. Because, you know, there's always stuff flowing in there, and if it gets in the cartridge, it'll clog it up, which may very well be my problem. Uh, but... That is what it is. So um, anyway, we're gonna it's just hand tighten it back on there. Uh, you know, it doesn't like you don't have to crank it down with these. In fact, that'll mess it up. And once we get get it on, I'm gonna put this um, this steel braided line here uh, in the bucket. And uh, it's a little bit challenging to get this on video, especially with uh, the camera on one of these wrist uh, uh, mounts, but. I'm going to put it in there and uh, 
once it's in the bucket here let's go ahead and, and we're going to turn the uh, inlet on and, and we're going to uh, hope that this thing is spraying some water let's hope and here we go guys and yeehaw look at that go that is a nice flow <laughs> take a breath it's not in the pipes all right so we diagnosed that it's definitely something in the faucet it could be the aerator in the faucet it could be um you know the cartridge i mean there's just any number of things and to be honest with you this is a no name brand and finding the correct cartridge or fixing the faucet itself is uh, problematic and beyond my ability uh, so uh, this is going to go in the trash it lasted about three years or so which is not super great but eh, it is what it is and uh, I got me another one you can get these on Amazon for pretty reasonably reasonable uh, and uh, we got another uh, brushed bronze uh, system I did put the drain in here and I should have did video of it it was quite the ordeal actually I'm glad I didn't do the video it was just me crying the whole time how hard it was <laughs> but I should have did it anyway so here's the uh, unit itself it's a a nice uh, brush bronze unit no name but it's really nicely built I like it it uh, feels good it uh, seems constructed very well um, I mean look at me I'm playing with it oh you know <laughs> that is anyway it's the uh, same installation as the other one really you, you put your stuff through the Oh, this one has a different mount to it, though, uh, than the other. Oh, wait a minute. I'm being attacked by, uh, oh, my God. What's that guy's name? The bad guy that has the glove on uh, the Avengers. Uh, I'm so old. I'm getting old. I can't remember. Who's the guy with the glove? I, I give up. Anyway, that's who's attacking me, obviously. And I was doing Iron Man, see? Iron Man, and he gave, he's just uh, bored of me, like you guys probably are. <laughs> anyway, so you can see the mount for this is um, different, uh, and that's fine. Yeah, you know, this has like a little mounting screw that goes in. They're, they're all going to be a little bit different. This one has a screw that goes into the unit there. Uh, you can see that. I had to actually put that in there. I probably should have showed that to you. Uh, but it wasn't like really a big deal. You just screw it in there with the side that you can get a hold of. You see how it's got like a little side on there that you can put a wrench on. Then you put the uh, actual uh, nut that they provide underneath it. It's actually rather easy. And you make sure it's lined up under there. They even give you a wrench. Look at the wrench they give you. This plastic wrench came with the unit you put it up under there if you, I mean if it doesn't fit you know you can use your own deal but it fit and I used it to crank the thing down and uh, it, it's uh, held in pretty good honestly the other unit probably was held a little bit more secure than the way this one is but it's on there good look at that I mean it didn't go anywhere unless somebody's hanging on it or you know trying to yank it off of there I mean I imagine if you started really pulling on it you could do some damage but so that's all good there right I guess um, what we're going to be doing now is putting these uh, feeds back on the inlet once I'm sure everything's squared away yep so let's go ahead and get these uh uh, Teflon up so the, the this particular one here has a different it doesn't have the tapered uh, rubber washers uh, so it has flat rubber washers and uh, so those aren't going to seal as good as the tapered ones but they probably are, they're much less likely to get clogged up in there too uh, on these I would probably put a little bit of Teflon uh, on there just to help uh, secure it because you certainly don't want this leaking some people would disagree with me on putting the Teflon on um, but uh, it, it doesn't hurt I mean what what are you worried about the Teflon uh, getting in there 
and, and clogging up the faucet a little bit. Um, all right. It does have that screen in there, though. So, I mean, you could just pull it off. But uh, I just put the Teflon down low enough that it doesn't uh, get caught up in there. Uh, and then also on this, it's not a hand tightening deal, as you can see. Uh, you're going to have to tighten it down. Uh, do not use your super strength on this. If you strip this or crack it, it's party time for the plumber. You have to come out there with a torch. Worse, uh, if you get it on, crack it on the wrong side of the valve, it'll start squirting all over the place and you have a big mess. So tighten it until it's not leaking. Uh, you're not going to need to use your super strength on it. Yeah. Every wrench should have like a torque meter or something on it. And then I could just say torque it to 18 pounds. And I mean, obviously there are torque wrenches, but that's not something that's on every uh, wrench we use. So anyway, uh, putting the uh, uh, hot line in now and we're getting close to being done. Uh, girls and boys, uh, we have replaced our bathroom faucet and uh, we've done it without uh, blowing the house up without causing a flood and without causing massive damage to our bodies and hands uh, well maybe a little bit on my hands but that's just the usual thing so once we get these things on uh, obviously we, we turn on the valves and we're going to check for leaks. Uh, I definitely want to check for leaks. <laughs> uh, dry it off and make sure it's not leaking. I just turn one on at a time, the hot on or the cold, and run it. The cold works good. Look at that. That is nice. I got the hot on now. There it is, guys. Listen, I hope this helped. Give me a thumbs up if it did help. And uh, till next time.